Kashak back again with another Iron Meme video. This can be summarized with Elite Dungeons are awesome. Especially when there's double Dungeoneering tokens involved. Mm mm. 90 combat. 70 constitution. 91 combat. This is so good in all of the ways. A big shout out to Ruby Pinch for hosting some Elite Dungeons on the Double Token weekend. It was pretty epic and pretty useful for some of us low levelers to be carried by some people. I think we're just on an hour now and I've got 195k tokens and I started with 25,000 so that's a lot faster than my three hours to get 25,000. Yeah, and we got 778k of loot as well. Some raw lobsters, which are pretty useless for me now. And some alcohols, which would be nice. Okay, Charming Imp. Bye. Yes. The 21 summoning. Oh, that's awkward. Be right back getting 21 summoning. 21 summoning. Let's go get that imp now. Bye. Yes, Charming Imp. Then we want to buy a Bone Crusher. Then... Kinda want the Gem Bag. Twisted Skull. Split Dragon Tooth. Oh, a Ring of Vigor is also something. Oh, 62 Dungeon Hero. I can't get it anyway yet. Although it's the next level, maybe I should just grind out another four or two. I think it's 50k, right? If I buy a gem bag. I think that's the first time I've got 100. 60 fletching. Got to get to 73 for that, uh, them Bacrimonel bolts. Whoa, I just got a 120k fletching XP drop. So I just went straight from 61 to 64. So just like five more of those and I'll be good. 347 magic logs. That'll be enough for one task in the future. I actually really hate doing normal dungeoneering, especially with having to do the floor on my own and it's slower and just shitty XP. It's terrible. I hate it so much. I leeched all of like 99 to 120 on my main, so ugh, this is just pain. I prefer the elite dungeons because at least you get better dungeoneering tokens reward from that. At least for now, hopefully everyone seems to think that they might nerf it, which is a bit concerning, but hopefully they don't and we can continue to get this good XP method because every other way just freaking sucks when you can't do it as a team like it's just dumb I hate it I don't want to do it 93 combat this is seriously overpowered I don't know how many more times I can say it just finished another two hours of elite dungeons and now have 469k tokens which should basically set me up for almost everything I've still got to get to 80 Dungeoneering for Chaotix but yeah we got a 1.4 mil chest which is not too bad and hopefully they don't o uh, nerf this overnight and I can continue doing this tomorrow and maybe get one mil tokens and then I maybe even further than that so that I can get permanent gold accumulator on top of everything else that I still need to get after AT Dungeoneering. We'll see uh, because I am quite a bit of a leech. We'll see if anyone's doing it but also I have got I think I started on 75 or 77 and uh, now 79 magic almost 78 uh, almost wow almost 80 I have a l I need to get my prayer up to 60 so that I can get the split dragon tooth 
necklace thing. So I'll probably try and work on that a little bit where I can. But other than that, damn. Gonna be buying some sweet stuff. Let's see what I can buy. So scroll of life, I definitely want that one. Definitely want gem bag upgrade. Yep, wasteless herbal ore is good. Smithing, I don't think that's as useful for me at the moment. Construction would probably be good. Crafting, yep. And then I'll need dungeoneering 80 for these. And I need 60 prayer for that. So I'm going to try and do some slayer with my new bone crusher so that I can try and get some more XP. I might just set that to 60 so I can see. 26k. 80 magic. I guess road to 99 now. Not only is the tokens absolutely overpowered here, but the XP. I just got level 70 defense. So now I'm just going to split between defense and magic. And I need 81 to do tsunami, which is the next thing I ne really need for this dungeon thing. But 70 means pretty much everything is unlocked now. In terms of guff, like all of this. Torags, Guffins, Kurils, God Wars. Awesome. This just makes it way too easy. But I love it. This is so good. I would just camp here all the time. Ow. Oh, and thanks to Nami-san for this carry and Fern for the carries yesterday. Absolute legends. I wish I could actually hit and I'm jealous of this guy's stuff. 100 combat. 82 magic. Elite Dungeons over the double token weekend was just absolutely insane. I just thank the guys so much for doing the carries because it was it was just epic for all of us low level iron men. Saving us hours and hours and hours from going and collecting tokens. Like it took me three hours to get 25k in the beginning and it took two hours to get 400,000. So it was just absolutely mental tokens and we were able to level up our dungeoneering from that and also get combat levels and level up our stats as well, which was just an absolute privilege. And I just thank every one of the FC members who helped out and, and, and provided those carries for, for us all. I think the people who were carrying got about 4 million Dungeoneering tokens over the weekend and more. So it was, it did benefit everyone in some way or another. But yeah, it was, it was awesome. And I think I still would like to continue doing Elite Dungeons even after, without the double tokens because still 5,000 tokens per boss is pretty good compared to like 200 per uh, dungeon. In normal dungeoneering that takes 15 minutes it's crazy thanks so much for watching if you have any suggestions on future episodes feel free to leave a comment below make sure you like and subscribe and all of that fun stuff and as always have a great day